2020 took a lot of things from a lot of people, but one thing it took away from me and Mackenzie was our honeymoon. We had planned on going to Iceland in 2020, but we weren't able to do so until this year for our two-year anniversary. We arrived in Reykjavik at 6 a.m., so our goal was to stay awake as long as we could so that we could adjust to the Iceland time zone. We planned a full first day with whale watching, the flyover Iceland experience, shopping down the famous Rainbow Road, and finishing with some amazing rye bread ice cream at Cafe Loki. Day two began our Ring Road adventure. We began day two with the coolest woodworking shop right outside of Reykjavik. Next, we went around the Golden Circle and we ended up spending the night at a hotel guest house right outside the city of Vik. After spending the night in Vik, on day three we headed up the eastern coast of Iceland and saw some incredible waterfalls, beaches, the glacier lagoon, and the crazy landscape of Iceland. This night we stayed at another guest house near the city of Hothen. Day four, like most of our days, consisted of a lot of driving, but this was certainly the coolest stay we had while traveling the Ring Road. It's about four miles off the Ring Road, but it's totally worth it. If you're ever traveling the Ring Road, you must plan a stay at Filadird, right outside the city of Madrudalar, and I'm obviously butchering these names, so I'll put some of the links of our stays in the description of the video. On day five, we were able to see Godafoss, the city of Akuri, and stay in a beautiful fishing village guest house in the city of Skagastrand on the western coast of Iceland. Day six was our trek back to Reykjavik in the last leg of our journey around the ring road. Mackenzie was finally able to find the perfect wool blanket she had been looking for and we caught some amazing views on the western side of Iceland. Last full day in Iceland was spent in Reykjavik. We were able to experience the Blue Lagoon, check out the tectonic plate divide, and try out the famous Icelandic hot dog. Kinsey and I will never forget the memories we had here. It truly was a trip that I will dream about. If you ever get the chance to visit Iceland, I promise it won't disappoint you.